Magandang hapo. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all the things you should not do. Do not even think about doing it in the Philippines. <laughs> So I'm going to be telling you this as from experience, okay? Number one, when you get to the Philippines and you're about to take a taxi, make sure you ask them, Kuya, how much from here to my location? Except if they have meter. If they don't have meter, make sure you ask them how much. Do not enter the taxi thinking when you get to your destination, you pay. Some of them can um actually collect more than the desired amount of money and you will be like kind of disappointed you'll be like why are they like that is it because you are a foreigner so make sure you ask them before you take the taxi okay number two do not show much of your valuable things like flashy things you like your jewelries your rings especially in manila there are a lot of pocket pickers there. I remembered when I was in Manila, I was robbed. I, I don't know how it happened. They took my passport. <laughs> they took my wallet from my bag. I don't know how it happened. It was when I entered the jeepney, I was about to pay the jeepney driver, and then I cannot find my wallet. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't find my wallet. I started looking for it. That was when some people said, oh, sorry, ma'am, you've been robbed in Manila. So do not show much of your, your items. I've seen a guy in my school, my assistant registrar told him to keep his wristwatch because he was putting on a gold wristwatch. She said, keep this away. They will rob you. They're going to steal it from you. And the guy said, no, ma'am, nothing will happen. Nobody will steal it from me. Do you know me? I'm a bad guy in my country. And guess what, guys? <laughs> the guy came back to our registrar and said, Mom, oh my God, you were right. They just stole my watch right in front of the school. I don't even know how they did that. <laughs> so do not show much of your expensive things, okay? Do not give beggars money. I'm not trying to say you should not help. Um, I think there is a law in the Philippines that says you should not give according to the anti-medicancy law or something like that. Because when you give one money, he will go and call all of them to come. <laughs> I used to give them, but sometimes some of them, they insult you, you know, and then you have to feel bad because you gave them money. There was a day I gave some beggars money. Maybe they think the money was too small for them. Maybe they were expecting much more from me, but I gave them just little. And they started calling me Nigra, 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 Pock you, Pock, Pock, Pock. You know, they started saying bad words to me and I really, really feel bad. That was when I said to myself, okay, I'm not going to give these people money again. Number four, do not insult the country, no matter what, because when you do that, that is really, really disrespectful to avoid being harassed, to avoid being deported, to avoid being arrested. Okay. Number five. Do not disrespect the elderly. Show them some respect. When you are talking to an elderly person in the Philippines, make use of PO. Okay? PO is a sign of respect. P-O. PO. And when you see an elderly person that is very much older than you, you can as well get their hand and place it on your forehead. And do bless. Number six. Do not get offended easily. No matter how you get angry in the Philippines, make sure you learn how to control your anger because filipinos they don't like when someone is angry <laughs> number seven once you go to a birthday party and they ask you to sing with a video okay and you can say you don't know and then they'll ask you to try when they say you should try you should at least try there's no harm in trying by doing this they will feel happy at least you are enjoying yourself in their birthday in their ceremony or in their little gathering or in their little get together okay Number eight, don't forget to have fun. Make sure you ride the jeepney, the tricycle, or the local boats. Try and ride on those things and you will enjoy it. There's this special breeze coming in when you sit in the jeepney and tricycle. Believe me, you're gonna like it. That is part of having fun. Number nine, don't forget to familiarize yourself with some Filipino words. The common words in the Philippines, like queer means brother, ate means sister, tita means auntie, 
Tito means uncle. Nanai means mother. Tatai means father. Salamat means thank you. Kamusa means how are you. Maganda umaga means good morning. Maganda hapo means good afternoon. Maganda gabi means good evening. Maganda merienda means merienda. <laughs> Joke lang. So make sure you know these common Filipino words. Number 10. When you have been invited to a dinner or a lunch by a Filipino family, make sure you don't eat at home because <laughs> they have a lot of food for you. So they will not be happy if you tell them you've eaten at home. So make sure you don't eat at home. When you come there, they will take care of your stomach. You will be filled up, okay? You will have a lot to eat and drink, believe me. Number 11, of course, you shouldn't expect everyone to know how to speak English. <laughs> Some people have nosebleed. If you are speaking English to them, they'll be like, voila, voila, voila. <laughs> it means they don't understand English. And when they tell you nosebleed in English, it means they don't understand English. One day someone told me, sorry, I don't understand English. I have nosebleed. I'm like, where is the blood? Can I see the blood? Can I see the blood? And she got shy. <laughs> Okay, so when they tell me they don't understand English or when they tell me they have nosebleed in English I will tell them me too. I have nosebleed in Tagalog. Number 12. Do not arrive early to a social gathering. I repeat, do not arrive early. <laughs> Always do Filipino time. Once they say the party starts 4 o'clock, please come by 7.30. <laughs> or you come 10 minutes to dismissal <laughs> okay because if you go early you're gonna wait 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 and then nobody did okay so always come late <laughs> number 13 do not forget to try the filipino food when you see filipino food try just little keep trying believe me they have nice food you definitely gonna like all their food okay initially it will not be easy because you're adapting but as time goes on, you will definitely love their food. So do not forget to try it. Number 14, do not forget to buy pasolubong. Pasolubong is souvenir. When you travel to the Philippines and you're going back to your country or to your friends, make sure you buy pasolubong or souvenir, okay? Do not come back empty hand. When you come to the Philippines, there are lots of souvenirs. There are lots of souvenirs there. Believe me, they have... I love Philippines, I love Boracay, I love Palawan, I love El Nido, I love this. So many souvenirs, even in the shirts, even as key holders, the ones I cannot even think of. So make sure you buy. And they are cheap. So get for people, get for your friends, get for your families, okay? Number 15, do not limit your travel to just Manila. There are other places that are more beautiful than Manila. Try, get Google, search, search around. Go explore Manila, explore Philippines, and thank me later. You're gonna definitely enjoy it. I'm telling you this, guys. <laughs> okay? Number 16, don't forget to learn their culture. Hmm. Filipinos, when you come to their country, they'll ask you, do you know how to do this? Do you know how to do that? They know how to make people to learn their culture. Look at me now on my own YouTube channel. I'm promoting Filipinos. <laughs> That is because it is a positive promotion. It is a positive vibe, guys. Okay? So, at least when you get to the Philippines, behave like Filipinos a little. Learn their culture. Okay? I hope you find this video interesting. Thank you so much for watching, guys.